Now we have a uh, new software update for our 2023 Tesla Model X and uh, it's 2024 20.15. Let's uh, take a look at the release notes here. This is full self-driving 12.5.1 and this is the version I've really been anxious to test. Uh, this is where they merge the highway stack with the city driving stack and the highway stack has been pretty stagnant for quite a while. And uh, while it's worked real well on interstate and divided highways, it hasn't worked so well out here in rural Wyoming. But uh, I'm really hoping that there'll be some great improvements here. Uh, other changes here. Uh, same thing, headlights uh, adapt for curves now. We might have to go out uh, later this evening and check that out. Hot weather improvements. This is where they've improved the HVAC system to allow you to charge better, cool a car down faster. And uh, just like in my last video of power front doors, maybe they've tweaked that a little bit to make it a little better. And of course, some security improvement. So let's go ahead and get this software update started. Let's hit the install now. And yeah, let's tap it here. It should start right now. We'll come back later. We'll, we'll go for a test drive when this is all over and done with. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I've just got full self-driving 12.5.1 and this is my very first drive with it. With this version, the car uses the inside camera to monitor driver attentiveness and you don't have to keep your hands on the steering wheel as long as you keep your eyes on the road and conditions warrant. My hands are currently off the wheel, but I have them ready just in case the car makes a mistake. I'm currently on a gravel road that runs through a subdivision. The car has not passed the speed limit sign, but it has set the speed at 35 miles per hour. That's a bit too fast for my liking, so I'll use the scroll wheel to lower the max speed to 25 miles per hour. The car's position on the road is pretty good, although it's a bit more to the right than I'd be steering, mainly because there is more loose gravel on the edges of the road, and people tend to drive more towards the center and only move over when there is an approaching car. So far so good. There is a sharp left turn just up ahead, and the view is blocked by a tree. Let's see how smooth this is. Well, the car slowed down nicely for the curve and it also left ample room for an oncoming car. And that's good because it's hard to see a car coming right before the curve. Now just up ahead is a stop sign where we'll make a right hand turn onto a very narrow chip coated county road. You can't see cars approaching from the left at the stop sign so you have to creep forward before making the turn. The uh, overhead power lines are causing interference with my Bluetooth mic so I'll mute the audio here and do voiceover until we get our audio back. We're stopped behind the stop sign. The car is creeping forward for visibility. It sees that it's clear and it makes the turn. Pretty smooth and natural. Good job, Tesla. Now the road is very narrow and there are no lines or markings. I'd say we have pretty good road position. Uh, we've got oncoming cars. Uh, the trucks are pretty wide and the roads are pretty narrow. Let's, uh... Let's uh, check out this curve. Uh, it's a nice smooth turn. So far, so good. Now we did just pass a 40 mile per hour speed sign. And Tesla must not have seen it because the speed is still set at 30 miles per hour. So I'm going to go ahead and use the scroll wheel and manually adjust the speed up just a little bit. So this is just a pretty straight and boring road. So I think what we'll do is we'll speed up the video and until we get to the next turn. Okay, the car is going to stop behind the stop sign here. I'm looking off to the right and it's clear. I can't really see to the left. It's pulled up to where you can see there's a car coming. And uh, that's not too bad. The acceleration is pretty good. The speed limit on this road is 65. I have it set at 67. 
We're driving 61. One of the things that I've noticed lately in the last couple builds of full self-driving is it doesn't readily move up to that speed on its own. I'm not sure how it decides what speed it's going to drive. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of accelerator myself here. And we're going to get it up to 67. I'll let off on the accelerator and it should stay there. It's hanging out here in the left-hand lane, which is fine. There's no traffic behind us. If it were me, I'd, I'd be over in the uh, right-hand lane. So far, I've been completely hands-free. Now, they uh, don't have a parking lot in front of the post office here where I'm heading and uh, so when we get near the post office I will go ahead and, and take it out of full self-driving and I'll parallel park it myself. One of the issues I've had for many years is, is that as we approach these small towns and it uh, speed limit goes from 65 down to 35 is that the car has coasted. Uh, the good news is was with this build as you can see it hits this 35 mile an hour sign and it's using regen braking to get down to speed. I am very happy with that. Um, sometimes in these smaller towns when the speed limit reduces drastically and it's coasting through, uh, it's, uh, it's just a ticket getter. So I've got my destination coming up here on the right. It's turned on a blinker. There's nobody behind me. I'm not sure. It's probably just going to stop. Let's see what it does here. Oh my goodness, it's actually going to pull over. Ah, very interesting. <laughs> now that's impressive. I've never done that before. Okay, so I'm going to bring it to a stop here. I'm going to go check my mail and then I'll be back. Well, that was a very interesting drive. Um, it was pretty short, and it certainly wasn't complicated like the, all the full self-driving videos I've seen on YouTube where people are driving through the cities. Lots of people own a lot of traffic and a lot of pedestrians. This is pretty simple backcountry roads. But interestingly enough, uh, it just in the past, the previous versions, uh, doesn't do very well out here on these rural roads. Um, this one did better. Uh, I didn't have any phantom braking. I never felt like my life was in danger. Um, and it executed things pretty well. Uh, the big problem we have is with uh, speed control. Uh, this one doesn't seem to adjust itself for speeds very well. It misses uh, speed signs. Uh, I don't know whether that's a camera resolution thing or what the story is. And, and that can be a problem. It can be a problem when you move out into the highway and it doesn't uh, accelerate up to the highway speed. It can also be a problem when you come off the highway onto these uh, small county roads where it doesn't recognize that the uh, speed limits have been reduced. And uh, that happened to me on this trip uh, several times. Uh, but those are solvable. Uh, I just think they need to have cameras that can read the signs a little better. And if they can't, if they don't know what the sign is, they need to be following some better guidance. And on that note, I know this is a long ways off, but I would hope that at some point we would be able to uh, uh, essentially specify how fast we want to be driving on these roads something we don't have to adjust every time we get in the car. A typical example is this small dirt county road in front of us. A Tesla says that the speed limit is 35 miles an hour on that road. There's not a single speed limit sign along there, uh, and it's 35 is just too fast. Uh, it needs to be 25 um, and uh, or less, especially when it's dusty and dry and, 
And uh, that would be something that would be great that if it could learn from uh, the speed that I'm driving or just allow me to specify the speed on that road. Uh, another big issue was when I came off the highway at speed limit was 65 and it went on the county road. The county road was 45 miles an hour and uh, they did have it marked. But when it came off the highway <laughs> at, at a 90 degree turn, it was trying to it slowed down for the turn and then it tried to speed up to 65 uh, before it uh, hit, saw that 40 mile an hour speed limit sign. Uh, a little awkward, a little strange, uh, didn't feel very natural. All these things uh, hopefully are solvable. Uh, two things that really shocked me was that uh, it pulled into my driveway here uh, and it's never done that in the past. It's always actually stopped on the street out in front of my house. Uh, that came as a real surprise to me. Uh, it didn't pull into the garage, but it uh, it pulled up to the garage and stopped. And then it just kind of sat around and <laughs> moved the real wheel around a little bit. Uh, it did like it didn't know what exactly to do. Uh, it probably should have put itself in park. Well, I hope you found this video entertaining, maybe useful. If so, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, be safe and be kind.